Welcome back. Today, we are going to talk about your all-time favourite and Oscar-winning movie, A Beautiful Mind. But not from the plot of movie, but from the real story of John Nash, which is even more captivating. Can a Nobel Prize winner be defeated by mental illness? Geniuses are often portrayed as eccentric, but what if their brilliance came with a dark secret? A Beautiful Mind explores the extraordinary journey of John Nash, a mathematician who grappled with schizophrenia. Discover how he fought this debilitating illness and achieved greatness in Sylvia Nassar's captivating biography. Firstly, let us tell you if you don't know that who was John Nash. John Nash was an American mathematician who achieved brilliance in several areas of math, but is most famous for his contributions to game theory. He developed the concept of the Nash Equilibrium, a fundamental idea in economics and other fields. Despite his mental illness, schizophrenia, he even won the Nobel Prize in economics for his work. Let's delve into his life, which has mind-blowing lessons for all of us. John Nash's journey begins in Bluefield, West Virginia, where he is born on June 13, 1928. From an early age, Nash displays an extraordinary aptitude for mathematics, exhibiting an intuitive grasp of complex concepts that far surpasses his peers. His innate talent is nurtured by supportive parents and teachers who recognize his potential and encourage his academic pursuits. Nash's intellectual journey takes a decisive turn when he enrolls at Princeton University, a prestigious institution that would become the crucible for his mathematical genius. Under the mentorship of renowned mathematicians such as John von Neumann and Albert Tucker, Nash thrives in an environment that values intellectual curiosity and original thinking. It is here that he begins to formulate the seminal ideas that would revolutionize the field of game theory. Chapter 1. The Birth of Game Theory At Princeton, Nash embarks on his doctoral research, delving into the burgeoning field of game theory, a branch of mathematics that explores strategic decision-making in competitive situations. Drawing inspiration from diverse disciplines such as economics, psychology, and evolutionary biology, Nash develops a groundbreaking concept known as the Nash Equilibrium. The Nash Equilibrium, a solution concept in non-cooperative games, revolutionizes the way scholars approach strategic interactions, providing a framework for analyzing complex decision-making scenarios. Nash's seminal paper, Non-Cooperative Games, becomes a foundational text in the field of economics, earning him widespread acclaim and recognition. Chapter 2. The Prisoner's Dilemma One of the most famous examples of the Nash Equilibrium is The Prisoner's Dilemma, a thought experiment that illustrates the tension between individual rationality and collective cooperation. In this scenario, two prisoners must decide whether to cooperate with each other or betray their partner to the authorities. The Nash equilibrium occurs when both prisoners choose to betray each other, resulting in a suboptimal outcome for both parties. Chapter 3. Triumphs and Turmoil as Nash's academic star continues to rise, he finds himself thrust into the limelight of the mathematical community, earning accolades and opportunities that seem boundless. He embarks on a whirlwind journey of international travel and collaboration, cementing his reputation as a visionary thinker and innovator. However, beneath the veneer of success lurks a darker reality. Nash's inner demons, manifested in the form of paranoid delusions and auditory hallucinations, begin to take hold casting a shadow over his seemingly idyllic existence. Despite his best efforts to conceal his mental anguish, Nash's behavior becomes increasingly erratic and unpredictable, raising concerns among his colleagues and loved ones. Chapter 4. Descent into Madness As Nash's mental health deteriorates, he finds himself ensnared in a labyrinth of paranoia and delusion, unable to distinguish reality from fantasy. He becomes increasingly isolated, withdrawing from the world around him as his grip on sanity slips away. Nassar's portrayal of Nash's descent into madness is both harrowing and heartbreaking as she chronicles the toll that schizophrenia takes on his relationships, career, and sense of self. Despite the best efforts of his loved ones to intervene, Nash's illness proves resistant to conventional treatment, leaving him adrift in a sea of uncertainty and despair. Here are some events of hallucinations he faced during this period. Number 1. Whispered Equations Imagine Nash attending a lecture, but the professor's equations are replaced by nonsensical formulas only he hears whispered in his ear. Number 2. Coded Messages In a crowded library, Nash hears voices hidden amongst the murmurs, revealing secret messages hidden within books. Number 3. Phantom Phone Calls 
Nash receives urgent calls from a government agency on a payphone, but no one is on the other line. Number four, shadowy figures. Nash might see shadowy figures lurking on campus, convinced they're government agents following him due to his secret work. Chapter five, a beautiful mind. Amidst the chaos of his mental illness, Nash experiences moments of clarity and lucidity that defy explanation. He continues to engage with mathematics, seeking solace in the abstract beauty of numbers and equations. Through sheer force of will, Nash summons the strength to confront his inner demons and reclaim his sense of agency. Chapter six, the power of mathematics. For Nash, Mathematics becomes a lifeline, a sanctuary where he can transcend the confines of his illness and reconnect with the world of ideas. His ability to harness the power of his mind amidst chaos is a testament to the indomitable nature of the human spirit and the transformative potential of intellectual pursuits. Chapter 7 – Legacy and Reflection John Nash's journey comes full circle as he emerges from the shadows of his illness to reclaim his rightful place in the annals of mathematical history. Despite the tumultuous twists and turns of his life, Nash's legacy endures, inspiring future generations of scholars to push the boundaries of knowledge and confront the mysteries of the universe. Now, it's time for some worthy lessons we have got for our viewers from the life of John Nash. Number one, brilliant minds can struggle. A beautiful mind shows genius doesn't mean perfect mental health. Number two, recovery is a journey. Learning to manage illness, not just cure it, can be a win. Number three, love has immense power. Support from loved ones can be a lifeline in tough times. Number four, unconventional thinking works. John Nash's unique approach led to breakthroughs. Number five, we are stronger than we think. Despite challenges, the human spirit endures. That was all for today. In A Beautiful Mind, Sylvia Nassar offers readers a poignant and profoundly moving portrait of a man whose life defied easy categorization. Through Nash's triumphs and tribulations, we are reminded of the extraordinary resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of intellect and imagination. As we reflect on Nash's legacy, we are inspired to confront our own inner demons and pursue our passions with unwavering determination, knowing that even in our darkest moments, there is always the possibility of redemption. Give your valuable opinions in comment. And if you like the video, then don't go without hitting subscribe button because this highly motivates us. Thank you.